Hey guys, so the Apple WWDC event just finished up and man was it filled with stuff. Um, so guys, the first big thing, actually is the only really thing they talked about, was the next iPhone. It, it is the iPhone 4. Yeah, an iPhone 4G, an iPhone HD, the iPhone 4. Um, so guys, well, it's pretty cool, I've got to admit. Um, in case you're wondering, all of the leaks from you know, Gizmodo and all the fake ones, I mean, not fake ones, those prototype ones we've seen, 100% legit. It, that is identical to what the uh, iPhone 4 looks like. Um, but we have a lot more news, and it has been a really just hectic, you know, two hours of watching it. And so, you know, they're adding more stuff and more stuff. Um, but first, let me go ahead and start with a couple things that were not done. No new carriers. So it's not going to be on Verizon. It's not going to be on Sprint. Um, it will actually, it looks like it will actually now support T-Mobile 3G bands, but of course you'll have to jailbreak and unlock for that, so. Anyway guys, let me go ahead and go through a few of the new things. So guys, one of the major things is that it is thin. Okay guys, it is the thinnest smartphone on the market, and it's pretty cool. Um, of course it's got the new squared off design as well, so it's a lot smaller than the original one, but it still does have the 3.5 inch display. Speaking of the 3.5 inch display, it is now 960 by 640. Um, just like everybody had predicted, it is a very, very high resolution screen, probably the mo the highest resolution screen available on any phone right now. Um, the, what they call it, they call it the retina display. And the reason they do it is because it actually, the screen is so high resolution that if they made it any more high resolution, the human eye could actually not see it. It's pretty cool. Okay guys, so briefly going over the specs, they didn't really tell a whole lot. They, di they didn't tell the RAM. Um, it, they did say it does have an Apple A4 processor, but they didn't say what speed it's at or anything like that. Um, I assume it's going to be less than the one, giga, uh, one gigahertz in the iPad, well, we don't know. Um, now another thing is that it does have a gyroscope. So along with the gyroscope, you have the compass and you have the accelerometer. It's going to be very, very precise. Um, somewhat similar to how the Wii, uh, the Wii remote in the, with the Motion Plus. It's got a lot of points of data, so you, as you turn the iPhone, it's very, very precise. Now guys, one of the bigger things I thought was the cameras and this whole situation where there's a lot of really cool stuff. Um, so the first thing, obviously, is that it does have a camera, obviously, it actually has two. It has a front-facing camera, but we'll get to that one in a minute. Um, the back-facing camera is 5 megapixels. That's not huge, but it is a very high, uh, it's a very high-quality lens. And it does shoot 720p HD video at 30 frames per second, which is fantastic. Um, they showed some of the video, and it looked really good. So, really, guys, this almost could replace a camcorder. It is very, very high-quality. But the main thing is that iMovie is coming to the iPhone. Fantastic, in my opinion. Um, it's not just like you know, like cut and paste a couple of little you know clips. It is full iMovie. I mean, you go ahead and cut transitions, titles, everything. And the best part is, it actually will output 720 video. So guys, it's a full 720 video editor in your pocket. It's an iPhone. Of course, it might take a very long time to render these high definition clips. But they showed a brief clip of you know how it, a movie that had been shot on the iPhone and edited on iMovie for the iPhone, and it looks really solid. iMovie will be four ninety nine though, so eh, I don't know. I think five hundred five hundred five dollars will be definitely worth it, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, no word on whether this will be uh, work on the iPad or any other device. We it, we do know that it just will be working on the iPhone four. Now for, well, a part that wasn't so great in my opinion, and it is the front-facing camera and the uh, uh, application, which is called FaceTime, which is a really bad name, but um, FaceTime, guys, this was probably the big disappointment. It's not amazing. Um, so basically with FaceTime, you, uh, it's like, you know, it's just like you expect, you know, it's, it's voice and uh, video, so, you know, you're looking at the screen and, you know, you see the other person, um, but there are some pretty big problems with it. Um, the first of which is that it's Wi-Fi only for now. Apparently it will be probably upgraded to 3G maybe next year, but for right now it's only going to work over Wi-Fi. So that's one big negative. Number two, and this one guys is the main problem for me, it only works from iPhone to iPhone. Okay, So if you have another iPhone 4, you know, like let's say a, a friend of yours or whatever who is also on Wi-Fi, you guys can talk, but otherwise you can't talk you know, on your computer or anything else besides just on an iPhone 4. So guys, those two things alone, that's that, that just not, that, I mean, that was the one more thing he said. And I don't know, guys, that was not, I was not impressed at all with it. Um, if it was over 3G, that'd be better. And if it wasn't just limited to an iPhone, if you could talk to, you know, your friends or whatever on computers or on Skype or stuff, that'd be great. So I'm just hoping that there'll be a Skype application that will be updated that will work for that. 
Okay guys, so now we have all that stuff out of the way, let's get to the big part. Um, the price is going to be the same as on the 3GS. It's going to be uh, $199 for 16 gigabyte and $299 for a 32 gigabyte. So depending on what country you're in, it should be almost the exact same price. Um, now there are a couple of uh, new things. The, it does, uh, you can still get it in white, but the big difference is it is full white, just like the prototypes we saw. It looks pretty cool, I've got to admit. Um, a couple other things are is that it will be launched June 24th. Okay, so guys, on June 24th, you can go ahead and pick yours up. In addition, it, you can go ahead and pre-order yours June 15th, and I imagine this one will be one that you will definitely want to pre-order. Um, guys, now the last thing was the iOS. Yeah, guys, it actually is called iOS now. Um, of course, it's, I'm talking about the iPhone OS 4.0, but now they've renamed it to iOS, which between iAds, iPods, iPhones, iOS, iMovie, I mean, I, I don't know why they're getting with this, but um, iOS is going to be coming out June 21st, three days beforehand, um, and it's going to be free for everyone. Um, of course, not for the iPad, it's not out that, for that, but for the iPhone and the iPod Touch, second and third generation, and the iPhone 3G and 3GS, you'll be able to get iOS for free. Um, that's, a, that's a good change. Um, they actually released a Gold Master, so if you're a developer, you can go ahead and download the final version right now today. Um, otherwise, you'll have to wait, but still, guys, iOS looks pretty decent. So guys, that is my entire wrap-up of the Apple WWDC event. It was almost two hours, and they were constantly this left and right. Um, they showed like a new Guitar Hero app, which is actually out right now. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of stuff, such as Farmville, is now on the iPhone. But yeah, guys, so I'm pretty impressed. The iPhone 4 looks really, really cool. Um, so yeah, guys, stay tuned. I'll be probably doing more videos about the iPhone 4, um, especially like jailbreaking, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.